G'day everyone, I'm Dan. Welcome back to Pretty Average Astro. In this video, it's pretty much just a no frills imagery session, which is actually quite nice because I feel like the last few videos that I've been doing, it's either been reviewing new equipment or doing some sort of experiment, experiment or just doing something new in general. So it's nice just to set up and take a picture pretty much. My target for tonight is NGC 6188 otherwise known as the Dragons of Ara or Ara or Ara and pretty much it's going to rise again to my left and it's going to track over uh, the house pretty much all night and I've actually already got eight hours on this target from last week I had a really nice clear night uh, where it took 105 minute frames and out of those 100 all of them were good and I've already stacked them in PixInsight fully edited the image with a plan to release that video this week but pretty much I just haven't had time and I've got another clear night tonight so I was umming and ahhing whether I'd just keep that eight hours and choose a different target for tonight but what I've decided to do just based on the last video that we had where we had I think we had about 20 hours of data I'm going to try and do the same and get about 16 hours worth of data um, and because I've already processed that image it'll be nice to compare I guess double the amount of time uh, so that's just the plan for this video yeah so that's pretty much it from here I'll just take you through my equipment I'm back on the Evolux 82 ED which feels pretty good and yeah I'll follow that with a Gucci time lapse and hopefully to the images so for tonight we've got my belt modded HEQ5 mount I have the Evolux 82 ED and Inside, I've got the Star Arizona 0.65 uh, reducer flattener, the Zero filter drawer with the Opsilon L Ultimate, and then the uh, Zero 53 MC Pro. I'll be guiding tonight with the 290 MC planetary camera and the Evo Guide 50 ED. It's just got a UV IR. Uh, filter at the front and then the ASI Air Mini and yeah that's pretty much it with this uh, flattener it takes my scope from I think f6.5 to about f4.2 yeah so it's a pretty nice setup and I've just realized this is probably the first time I've worn a jacket in one of my videos uh, cold weather's finally catching up to us in Queensland it's been a very chilly, uh, getting down to about four degrees overnight, which is probably nothing to some of you guys oversee in the minuses, but Queensland, pretty cold. And I'm getting less and less telescope anxiety lately when I leave this thing by itself. I've even stopped checking Meridian flips. At best, I'll just sometimes listen out sound, but I haven't went to the gym early this morning and just left this still imaging, and yeah, it's sweet. And I think last night, the guiding on this thing was between 0.3 and 0.5. It was just awesome. I really like it. Well, fast forward two days now, we ended up having an extra clear night here and instead of taking a picture of something else, I couldn't help it and I just gathered more data. So I got an extra 185 minute frames, so that gives us a total of 280. So we've gone from 8 hours of exposure to 23 hours of exposure and I'm kind of happy that I edited everything at 8 hours because now we can sort of compare uh, the difference between those amounts of data and you know whether it's worth it or not So this is kind of turned into a, a mini experiment I'm not trying to be annoying and holding back the final image or whatever But I thought this might be in interesting to compare the data sets So we've got six photos to look at the eight hours of exposure in a star and starless version uh, the 23 hours of exposure star and starless and they're both in the show palette so sulfur hydrogen and oxygen and then I've just got one more a bonus photo I've just done the same 23 hour photo 
but in the native colors that you get straight from the camera and the L Ultimate without sort of doing anything too fancy. And again, no calibration frames. I'm just finding that drizzling every photo is enough for me, even though I didn't drizzle in the Evo Guide 50D with those 60 images either. Um, and I'm not doing that to be lazy. I've just been failing to see where it's benefiting my images. The 533 MC Pro is just such a good camera and I don't have any vignetting. I don't, the drizzles taking care of the hot pixels and I'm just not seeing any benefit uh, from those calibration frames. And if I can save time and I can't see the difference and if you can't see the difference, then what's really the point of doing them? If I see dust and whatever in the next photos, yep, sure, I'll take a flat frame to get rid of it. But in the meantime, I'm not doing calibration frames. And what's really impressed me as well without taking these calibration frames is Pixinsight's weighted batch processing and just the way it handles all the gradients and satellites and everything. I've got an example here of the moon coming over my fence. It's left a massive corner gradient. I thought that would definitely show up in the final image. I had about 30 of them. And Pixasite got rid of that and used the rest of the data. It was great. And then I had plenty of these satellite uh, satellite tracks. And you know, usually I'd be you know deleting these because I thought it was going to ruin my image, but it, it's great. Really good, really impressed. All right, so here are the six images incoming fancy video. So, pretty cool. Um, definitely my, my favourite is the 23-hour starless image. That image is so cool. Um, but if you still had that 8-hour image by itself, not next to that one, you're still going to be blown away. So, um, what I'll do now, I'll just uh, pretty much just pixel peep for a bit and get a bit of a closer look so you can actually kind of see um, the differences if you couldn't see them in the video. Alrighty, that eight hours, that's still mind boggling. Oh, I've even forgot about the 23 hours already. Like that's really, really, really cool. And it's really only the finer detail uh, that comes up in the, the 23 hours. So there's the stars, yep, that's cool. So what I'll do is just the stars version because it, they just look like they're edited differently when you've got stars in there, to be honest. These are edited slightly differently. I found with the 23 hour one, it was very easy to overdo it. And I really want to go for a more sinister kind of photo instead of overexposing everything. But that eight hour image, like it really is great. Every, like, look how sharp everything is very low noise, beautiful colors. And then I guess it's a bit different when you compare these because that this one's a little bit darker, but I think the detail is just a bit more finer. And where we'll see that is let's start in this little core to begin with. All right. So when we zoom into the core, you can tell there's just like a little bit more detail. 
is actually quite a bit when you start to look. Like you're not really looking this close, so I guess it doesn't matter too much in, in the grand scheme of things, but I guess when it's your own image, you're looking at it a little bit more. And I found especially down in these parts of the nebula, just zoom out here. So you can definitely see, especially in these two middle parts, it's definitely more detail as you scroll up here as well. You're just getting a little bit more, a little bit more, but I'm glad I am because I'd hate to waste two nights of exposure to not see that much of a difference. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it really like that photo is i really love that photo really cool um both very impressive and if you're interested in the way i process and and stuff i'm happy to give um a little bit of a tutorial on the tools that i use i, I pretty much it's pretty systematic i know the tools that i kind of like now to Get the best out of everything and i try to do it as quickly as possible um so if that interests you let us know but i'm still learning i'm still watching youtube videos trying to learn these things anyway so uh just to make my life a bit easier um but yeah i'm waffling a bit i don't really know what to say now um but hopefully i'll be taking a picture of a galaxy next so look out for that and yeah Cheers. Um, so we've got six hours. The fact. Um, the target for tonight. Mm -hmm. like and last week I actually caught 